Hey there! In today's video, I'm going to show you three ways that I improved the storage in my home. Life I can't wait to show you. It's worked wonders. And welcome back. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. have an office this tub ended up following me throughout the Christmas season so when I was on QVC one day and saw this cart with these different containers I knew that it was, it was exactly what I needed I ordered it it was so easy to put together um, it was basically just taking it out of the box and putting on some casters on the bottom and voila it, it was assembled it was pretty simple these tubs were big enough to hold my paints. It had little separators that I could um, add in there. I could put my supplies in the little zipper pocket. Anything that I was afraid might get lost could go in there. It was perfect. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. One of the other things I liked about it was that it has these this collapsible tabletop so that I can work on projects from it. Once I put everything inside, it fit nicely in my coat closet. And it was perfect. I have organized there, and you'll see here, even on the side, I have those coat hooks, um, or cup hooks, and I just hung my umbrellas from there. It was a perfect solution for this coat closet and I can get my paints out of the garage where they get all damaged. And that was my project number one. If I let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my so for project number two, I decided to add another shelf in there so that I could get more storage for my dishes. Um, I ordered pegs because there are holes in there to hold, to, to add a shelf. The pegs I ordered on Amazon were not the right size. Um, and I ordered a shelf from Home Depot, but it was not long enough. I could have just made it so much easier on myself by getting the correct items or returning them and getting the right things in but i wanted instant gratification so what i decided to do was to make little brackets i um used these one by twos i believe they are that i bought from for the board and batten things i was doing and made brackets to hold the shelf now because the shelf that i ordered was not long enough I had to extend the bracket. Um, so that's what I did here. So I add a little wood glue and I nailed the um, little square dowel that I had and, and nailed it to the one by two. These are just scrap pieces that I had in my garage. And I, do, I recommend ordering the correct things, even if you have to cut down your shelf. And that, that is what I, that's why they say to measure twice, cut once, because I obviously didn't. And the shelf had to be mail ordered. That is why I didn't want to return it and wait for another one to come in. So anyway, this worked and it looks perfect. So yeah, it's for me. I'm not gonna
Okay, so I cannot tell you enough how much I love this. Before I, I did this, if I wanted to use a casserole dish, I had to take out my mixing bowls because everything was kind of stacked up on top of each other. And if I wanted to use an actual a regular bowl, I had to, um, you know, take out the smaller dishes because the, the um, bowls were stacked up on top of the salad plates or, you know, not the really the other way around, but you, you get what I mean. So now everything has its own place. You know, when I take things out of the dishwasher, I can just stack them where they're supposed to go. It's crazy how much I love just another shelf. I added another shelf to my glasses cabinet and it was perfect. I now I had a special place for mugs and all of the wine glasses had their own space. So perfect. So my third project is not a recent project. This was something that I did about two and a half years ago after I first moved in. I was inspired by a pottery barn um, laundry room. In their laundry room, they had pegs that hold, held all of the items that you'd need in the laundry room, baskets and jars. So I wanted to do that same look in mine. So I purchased these pegs that I found at Walmart, painted them in antique white and used them to hold baskets. Um, I'd add sisal twine to my um, broom and mop and duster so that they hang, hung from some of the others on the wall. I also had um, found these little metal baskets and used them to store some of my cleaning supplies. Um, I have a previous video that I will link in the description box. Ignore the laundry that's already in there. But um, that will show you a better picture of that laundry room. But it's held up. It looks fantastic. Nothing's fallen out of the walls. The shelves um, hold all of my necessary items. I love how it turned out. It went from a, just a little white box with a laundry, um, with a washer and dryer to something that I did not mind going into every day. So I hope you enjoyed all of these projects. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already. I have so many new projects that I'm actually just finishing up that I can't wait to show you. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me any comment you want. I'm really good so far at replying. But um, yeah, I love sharing these things. This is a new build home. I've lived here for about three years now. And I like adding classic touches to it. So I hope you stick around and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.